Be news tonight. A former high-ranking pair in the CPP-NPA hierarchy and law enforcement's most sought-after fugitive couple has been convicted by a Quezon City trial court over serious charges of kidnapping and illegal detention. PTV correspondent Bea Bernardo on leftist couple Benito Tiamzon and Wilma Austria's conviction and the particulars of the court-ordered payback and slammer time awaiting them in this report. The Quezon City Court deemed the couple Benito Tiamzon and Wilma Austria, who work as consultants for the National Democratic Front and suspected leaders of the Communist Party of the Philippines, guilty. This is for the kidnapping case as well as for illegal detention. This is based on the decision released by the presiding judge Alfonso Ruiz of Quezon City Regional Trial Court Branch 216. The accused were punished with reclusion perpetua or imprisonment for up to 40 years. Years. The court also directed them to pay the compliant Army Officer Lieutenant Abraham Claro Casi 75,000 pesos for moral, civil indemnity, and exemplary damages. The case is rooted in the kidnapping of Casis along with three other soldiers on June 1, 1988 in Barangay Taguan in Candelaria, Quezon. In the court's decision, they put emphasis on the compliance testimony positively pinpointed Tiamson and Austria who were allegedly two of the people responsible for his kidnapping. It was in 2014 when the Tiamson couple was first arrested. But they were freed last 2016 after posting bail to join the discussion of peace between the government and the CPP, NPA, and DF. However, the court ruled for their arrest once again last 2018 after President Rodrigo Duterte ordered a halt on the peace talks. The military believes the court ruling will greatly impact the fight against insurgency because the Tiamsons are high-ranking leaders of the communist group. The impact on the military's morale will be great. However, the couple is still at large. Dapat talaga sumuko na sila kapagkat hindi hihinto ang sandatang lakas ng Pilipinas sa ating pagsigap na muli silang may balik sa kulungan, lalong-lalo na ngayon. On the perspective of the Philippine National Police, the court ruling is a victory for justice. PNP spokesperson Brigadier General Ilde Brandi Osana stated the ruling is the result of the fiscal's efficiency as well as the investigators who searched and presented evidences. The DOJ also considers the ruling a victory for the prosecution and is pleased with the result of the trial. According to the lawyer of one of the accused, they intend to appeal the ruling to the lower court. Hindi ko sinasabi po sa question. Ito ko sinasabi ko is an issue where there was really positive identification after all these years and then whether it is politically motivated. Bea Bernardo, for the news.